Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, this is actually take two. I I was spitting about five minutes in the first video and realized I didn't have the microphone on, so uh, let's try this again. So it's your boy TK. I'm back at it again. Um, I'm doing a review of uh, Project Portfolio 1 in the audio production uh, undergrad degree program with Full Sail University. <laughs> this was a tough one. Um, I passed by the skin of my pants. Um, I... I I gotta be honest, man. Like I, I, I think they just. I'm not saying that they passing us through, but so many other words. Like you know, I'm trying not to read between the lines, but I pass. I don't know how. I'm thankful. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I really was waiting to do this video to see if I had passed or not, and um, I passed. I got a D, and um, it's hurtful because I've been, you know, like the first like seven classes, I got all A's. I was geeked. I was like, yeah, man. You know, I'm learning this music thing. You know, I'm getting pretty good at it. And then all of a sudden, we go into uh, audio workstations and project portfolio. And it's like those were like, you know, <laughs> real world, like slap in the face. Like, hey, man, like slow up. Like you ain't, you're not really that good. So slow down. Um, but, you know, thank God for the professor and the people in my class that helped me along. Um there's a guy that's been in pretty much all my classes up to this point, um, Tyler. Hey, man, I really appreciate everything you're doing for me, man. Um, check out my boy Tyler. He has his own YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in my in, in my description of the video to him. Show him some love, man. This brother is out there. He's, you know, very good musician, man. Very, very talented dude. And I mean, he, he he's come through for me, man, in the clutch. So much respect, man. I really appreciate it. And to uh, everybody else that's been uh, showing love and, and getting a little bit of something out of these videos, I appreciate it. And, um, you know, you guys um, hitting me up, I, I'll hit you back. You know, it might take me a minute, but I definitely, everybody that's uh, showing me support, I'm, I'm getting back to you. I actually put my, my personal email out on my channel. So um, if you have any questions or need any advice or want to just chop it up, hit me up in the email. Then, we you know, we, we can, you know, we can link up and I'll give you my, my, my number or things like that. I just don't want to put my number out on a, on a world to see, but I did put my email out there. So if you want to get a hold of me, how at your boy. So let's get it. So uh, project portfolio one, man, uh, core progressions. So we worked a lot, a lot with core progressions still hasn't clicked for me yet. Uh, I'm trying to get some tutoring with the school. Uh, one good thing about um, being online and the student at Full Sail is they have every day to have a music helpline from 5 to 9. And, like, I've been in that thing every day. But one thing I don't understand is, so we got these, you know, Full Sail online, man, we have long lectures. Like, you talk in two, three, four-hour lectures, which, I mean, I work, you know, I work from home. You know, thank God, but I mean, people that actually go in the office and stuff, like, I mean, it's hard to catch. I mean, four hour lectures, like, come on, man. But uh, one thing that I understand is they have office hours, well, at least for project portfolio, the office hours were during the during the lecture. So you got to make a choice. Well, if I'm going to the office hours or if I'm going to the lecture, like, you can't do both because they were both at the same time. Didn't understand that. You know, it is what it is at this point in the game, you know. So, um, Project Portfolio 1, I mean, we, we jumped out the gate. We got back into Logic Pro. We were just in Pro Tools. Then we jumped back into Logic Pro. So, it's like, you know, you learn one uh, DAW, and then it's like you, you feel like you're learning that DAW, and then you got to change back to the other DAW and, you know, get back involved in that one. So, uh, for me, as somebody that doesn't play any instruments or, that's you know, this is my first time doing music, uh, just, I mean, I don't know how many times I can say this, man, but poor, core progressions was a big part of this class. I mean, the assignments we worked, seems like every week we had five or six assignments due, um, and they were all just based off of core progressions. Um, for whatever reasons, it's, it's really just not sitting with me, so I, um, I'm actually going to be getting some extra help from, from, from the school. Um, the professor was good, you know. I I, I got in, the, in the, one of his uh, office hours and helped me with my final, uh, my final song. So basically, Project Portfolio One is like you're creating your own original song. Uh, you're composing it. You're you're putting the music down. Um, 
you know, if you're going to sing, rap or whatever, whatever you do, we put that with it. But the main focus of the song was uh, the first two weeks is um, you build a song, 16 bars. Uh, it has different uh, characteristics, like it has to have a kick, a bass, a snare, uh, a synth, a melody, and harmony. And then in the, the last two weeks, you got to put another 16 bars. So essentially, um, it's a 32-bar uh, song that you have to do. And you have to compose it again um, every week. Um, like the the assignments themselves, we're just working with chord progressions, and um, for whatever reasons, like I said, for me that just it's just not sticking. So I'm I'm definitely getting some extra help. And then there, you know, um, week four before you actually submit your final product, your your website and your song, you put your song out to the class so you can get some critique and um, thank God for the students that were that I was a, that I'm going along in the program with. Thank you for your your um, advice and um, and critique on what I did. It, it helped me out, and I, you know, thanks for the professors. Um, you know, the the ones that did the lectures and my professor that I had for the actual class. So, um, so week one I pretty much missed. Um, there was like four assignments due. They didn't weigh into the grade, but what happens is like if you miss an assignment or if you're late. Those are points off of your GPS, which is your global professionalism grade or whatever. So, like, you have your GPA and then you have your GPS. So, the GPS is, like, the professionalism. So, if you miss a class, if you're, like, on a campus, that takes away from you. Online students, if you're late with an assignment, they take points away from that GPS. So, um, I took a hit on my GPS going through this class. So, I had, like... Um, like I said, I missed the first week because I was out on the cruise, uh, and then I was so concentrated on getting my website done and my song that I missed, it was like an extra part after that. I totally, like, I dropped the ball on that, and I missed it. Those are like four different assignments, or maybe five, and I got zero, so not zero for my grade, but zero for my GPS score, so my GPS score is going to take a, take a beating um, in this class, and my GPA is going to take a take another hit because with the uh, uh, digital workstations or audio workstations and now project portfolio um you know i was getting all a's up to that point man and like you know these have been the hardest classes up up to this point at least for me so um you know i, I definitely need to um kick it up a notch and you know put the work and the time in um for project portfolio, you probably need about another 20 hours of like ded dedicated time outside of whatever you're doing, like work, all the lectures and everything. I would say probably like about 20 hours a week. So you figure two to three hours a day, you, you, you're going to need to, you know, have some time to put into the course. Like if you're not at the, at the actual lecture and you got to watch the, the re um, broadcast of it, you know, that's. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're going to need at least two, two and a half hours to go back and watch that. The good thing about the recording is you can like, you can fast forward through some of the stuff where as you, if you're in a live one, you got to actually, you got to sit there and you got to like listen. And I work from home. So like I, I normally sat in a live lecture and then I would go back and kind of fast forward and pay more attention on the parts that I, I like if I was working or if I was in a meeting that I couldn't really pay attention to, I would go back and try to hear that and try to, you know, figure out what, what they were talking about during that particular time. So that's one thing I like about being an online student. Uh, so overall, you know, I thought the class was really good. Um, you know, again, I struggled, but hey, um, I made my first song. Uh, I may share it here in this platform. I'm not really sure yet. I don't really feel strong about it, but then I think I should post it then that way not only me, but then people that are actually watching my videos can see my progression um, going forward because there's, I think, four portfolio classes that we have. And so, like, this is the foundation, and we got three more portfolios to do. So, basically, the goal for the school is once you graduate, you'll have a portfolio and you'll have some stuff that, you know, that you worked on and created for yourself. And that will be kind of like your, your business card or your calling. So, um, they're using Wix for the, for the, um, for the website. Um, I'm an IT by trade. Um, I work in law enforcement, but I, I do a little bit of coding. I've taken some coding classes on a, a site called Udemy. 
So to use Wix is uh is it's it's easy. I mean it's pretty much drag and drop. Um, they have a whole bunch of templates. So I mean that part of it wasn't, you know, that was probably the easiest thing for the whole class. So, but that's it in a nutshell. Project Portfolio One is a hard banger. <laughs> I, I held on. I fought. And I passed. So. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm a disabled veteran. I'm using the Vogue Rehab to go to full cell. So let's get on that. So I've been at full cell. This is my eighth class, so about eight months, going on nine months. I'm on my third counselor with the Vogue Rehab. Um, my last counselor had very little contact with him. This one I, I actually had a phone call with. Um, in the last probably three or four five months I have not got any award letters um, I'm getting my money but haven't gotten any award letters and I can see the next like six classes in my profile I don't know what happened so I finally tracked down my new counselor was able to, to talk to him um, yeah I just don't understand like I mean I, I appreciate the VA and everything but man you know three counselors in eight months like I just don't understand like and like I'm in a position now at the school where like things are getting tight and I need help. So um, I, I talked to my counselor and I explained the situation to him. And um, the guy, I mean, he seems like he's a pretty cool dude or whatever. And I know that they're that they're probably slammed with other with other veterans and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, like what's going on over there? So um, when I told him I needed help, a uh, good thing about full cell. Um, for veterans, um, and I don't know if anybody else knew this, but there's a disabled, they have, it's called uh, Disabilities, um, I can't think of the whole name, but it's a disability thing, so if you call a school and you tell them that you need help, um, they'll basically get you like tutoring one-on-one, -on -one, and it's under the Disabilities Act, and what you have to do is um, you contact the school, they'll get back to you, and then you have to show proof of your disabilities. So what I did is I went on my e-benefits. I printed off the letter, um, but somehow they changed the e they changed the e-benefits where it doesn't have like what you're getting uh, rated for on there. So basically, what I did is um, if you go on e-benefits um, on the left hand side under disability, it lists is like like what the government's paying you for. So I did a screenshot of that, and then I took the disability letter that tells me like okay, I'm rated at X amount percentage, and I just gave them those two. They signed off on it. Uh, I got my email today that they put me in the system under the Disabilities Act. So now, um, being under that program, like um, if I need extra time on an assignment, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I can get it without getting penalized like I did in Project Portfolio 1. Uh, you're entitled to one-on-one -on -one tutoring, which I'm definitely going to get because, again, like I'm not really, I haven't grasped the core progression thing yet. And, uh, you know, that's, that's going to help me. And I'm gonna need some help in, uh, you know, wrapping my mind and and getting a little bit more proficient in Pro Tools. So, good program. I had to find out about. It. I had to do the research myself. So that's one thing about being in the Vogue Rehab. Uh, and I hope this information can help somebody. So, the how can I say this? Like, there's help out there, but it's like you know, you gotta go out and you gotta find the help. Like, they're just not gonna give it to you. You gotta go out. You got to do the research like I did. So hopefully putting this information out there can help somebody else where you don't have to sit around and, and be panicked and worrying and, you know, depression and anxiety start peaking because you're not doing good in school and you're trying to deal with all the other stuff of, that life is throwing at you at the same time. So there's a program under the Disability Act. Call the school. If you're a, um, a veteran, a disabled veteran using the Vogue Rehab, there's help out there for you. Um, just, again, just follow the instructions that I just gave you. And it'll get you the help that you need. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I won't get another counselor. But, uh, you know, the last eight months I've gone through three. I've got, like, another almost year and a half to go. So who knows how many counselors I'll have in that, that time period. And um, one thing that I, that I did with my old counselor was I sent my grades in periodically and when I had the phone call with my new counselor, I just told him, I said, hey, you know, like, you guys haven't asked me for, for my grades or nothing. And then, like, a week later, he finally asked me to send in my grades, which I did. So that's a good sign. 
but I'm just I'm curious like why I haven't gotten none no war letters but then like I'm I'm registered for like the next six classes which is weird but I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I really don't know what they're doing. But I'm getting my money. I'm uh, you know, doing what I gotta do to to make it in school. So anyway, this was just uh you know, another little short video. Um you know, getting any benefit out of the video, um, subscribe and like my videos, likes help the algorithm. Um, yeah, this is your boy TK. Again, just got out of pro pro portfolio one, project and portfolio one, full cell university, audio production, undergrad degree. Thanks for your support, thanks for your time to watch. I'll holler at you guys I'll get out of the next class.